And for several of us, we've experienced it being out in some places and not in this one. And living the double life, as I refer to it, um, those places where you can be safe and be yourself versus when you're not out or you're not feeling safe. Um, and it can be really upsetting to recognize how many spaces you don't feel safe or that you generally don't ever feel safe. It can be a really tough realization and it can also be tough if you're not fully out to everybody or you're still trying to come out to yourself and you're dealing with that internalized transphobia. It's a really tough place to be in. And um, there's, there's not a lot of information out there. If you look at generally the information out there, it's about when you first come out, and usually it refers to when you first come out to friends and family, and that's it. There is mm -hmm. no other information out there. There's nothing about after you've come out one time. How do you navigate and educate folks in your life? Do you want to be the person to navigate and educate? Um, what does that look like? How do you want to do that? What works for you? So I've been really fortunate to work with folks who have done it in various different ways. And uh, some people come out in a letter. Some people have come out um, through Facebook. I know several people who have. Um, other people have talked on the phone. Some people had like a like everybody there all at once and just told them all. Some people told one person at a time or told one person and no one for a long time. So there's no one right way to come out. <clears throat> and how you navigate your different spaces, like coming out to friends and family, coming out at work coming out in a faith community. Um, those are all very unique circumstances to you, and only you will really know the best way to do that. And if you're feeling really overwhelmed and like, I don't know, I have no clue, I don't know where to start, I don't know what to do, that's why we're here for each other. That's why Grace and I are also here um, as people who've been through this and navigated that in numerous different spaces. Um, I out myself constantly because not only is it my job, but I have decided that I want to be someone where people can ask those questions because I'd rather them know the correct information than not know. And generally, I come across people who mean well but just don't even know where to start. They're so afraid to offend. They don't even know what to say, so they just dance around it. I call it the gender dance. People do this with me all the time. They'll just try to not use a pronoun with me instead of trying they. They just keep saying my name over and over and over. And then they screw it up. And then they're like, oh, I'm really, really sorry. And then they get stuck on that, not realizing that the process of them realize, learning how to talk to people and the way they self-flagellate about it makes it about them instead of the person that they're supporting. And there's just so much education that people need to get. So for myself, like I have pretty thick skin when it comes to the gender stuff because and sexuality and polyamory, you think like I've been identifying these ways for a long time. I have lots of practice with it. Um, if you're not feeling okay about it, that's okay. We're all in a very different space with that. And it's important to find the right people to support you in that process. And to know that you will figure it out on your own. Or you can explore different ways before you actually do it. Um, because not all stories are positive. In fact, usually they're not mostly positive. So it's really great to actually hear some positive stories. And, um, and if yours isn't positive, that was your experience and it sucks. And this is a space where you can share that. <coughs> um.